noemen mij mijn broer. Mensen noemen mij een gek. Maar dat kan me echt niet schelen. Dus heb ik een grote bek. Maar ik doe niks verkeerd. Ik zeg wat ik denk. Ik pak me lekker een joint en die breng me dan. We're dealing with the biggest story of the millennium. This is the planet Earth by alien spacecraft. A successful cover up of the best data, bodies and wreckage, for 58 years. The bottom line is I don't believe the, uh, the claim of the Air Force that all sightings can be explained. This is the biggest secret in the history of the human race and particularly in the history of modern government. We are being engaged as a planet and as a species by uh, other beings. The Canadian government is how I actually proved that the U.S. government was covering up their collection of UFO sightings and records. America and Britain have made it very clear to a lot of countries who have the same sort of sightings and the same resources that this is something that they better not let out, not until we say it's okay. If we would get off of this ego trip, this Western scientific ego trip, we would not become the virus of the universe that we are. Nobody really wants us out there. The dependence on oil could be ended overnight. We're being slowly conditioned to understand that there is life outside this planet and that we probably live in a universe and a galaxy teeming with life. I had my own UFO sighting and said, well, case closed. There's nothing like seeing one for yourself to uh, end the debate. I'm absolutely sure that we are not alone in this universe. <laughs> Do flying saucers exist? Are extraterrestrials real? Is there a government cover-up? USA, July the 4th, 1947. A flying disc crashed. The debris and alien bodies were flown to Wright Field Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. Suffolk, England. Rendlesham Forest, December the 26th to 28th, 1980. A triangular-shaped object illuminated the entire forest with white light. The object had a pulsing red light on top and a bank of blue lights underneath. It left ground traces and radioactive anomalies. This was a multiple witness sighting by military personnel. Belgium. The Belgium Wave, October 1989 to 1990. Hundreds of reports of lighted objects frequently described as enormous and triangular in shape. Air Force F-16s chased many of these objects. The Belgian government cooperated with civilian UFO investigators. Arizona, USA. The Phoenix Lights. March 13, 1997. A huge V-shaped object hovered over Phoenix for 10 to 15 minutes, observed by tens of thousands of people. Mexico. The Mexico Flap. Hundreds of objects appearing alone and in clusters appear throughout Mexico, observed by tens of thousands of people. Flying saucers are real. On the Black Vault, you can download documents that prove that the United States Air Force bases have been breached by UFOs, their air restricted airspace, um, that missile silos have mysteriously been shut down due to UFOs hovering over the base. Um, I think you download that and you read it, uh, you conclude, yeah, okay, UFOs pose a national security threat to the U.S. government.
And then in 52, I was an eighth grader and old enough to read for myself the big screen headlines that July about UFOs flying over the nation's capital and the uh, Air Force planes not being able to catch them. They're there and they're paying attention. Incidents happened in Soviet Union before it collapsed. Incidents happened all over the northern U.S. The ICBM races where they came down, hovered over the silos, played hell with the electronics. Pictures were taken. Hundreds of witnesses watched them. Highly classified, you never hear that, except from whistleblowers and big mouths like me. Well, while I was attending uh, Northrop Aeronautical Institute and working for uh, Douglas Aircraft in El Segundo, California, I had heard about George Adamski and, and uh, one of the Sunday newspapers, he had his story and his pictures of contacts plus pictures of his ships. Well, I had by that time seen so many during the day and the night that I felt I would like to go up and meet this gentleman. <laughs> On the weekend, he would entertain people who would come to see him, military people, engineers, scientists, uh, people from all walks of life. But he had taken some beautiful pictures of the scout craft as well as the carrier ships. I went up to see him, get a six inch telescope that he used to take the pictures of the flying saucers. And there was a, an elliptical flying saucer. It looked to me like it was hovering above the ground. So I heard it increase its frequency and it got brighter and brighter. And it was really pretty hard to look at. And it shot straight up until it looked like one of the stars. If you've ever been to Mount Palomar at night on a dark night, boy, they're big and bright. And it stopped for an instant and then it shot over the horizon over San Diego. We have more than one witness who have been involved in the uh, tracking of these objects on radar. You know, many people say, well, look, if this stuff was real, why are there no radar reports? I said, we have them. We actually have the radar tapes from the FAA. This is not just UFOs. And this is not just not being visited by guys from other planets. I was to learn later. Ik wil graag de school verhalen. Ik weet er altijd wel weer in. Maar geen mens die ze wil horen. Dus zing ik ook heel vaak alleen. Maar dat is niet echt verkeerd. Ik ben eraan gewend. Ik rook me lekker mijn joint en gedrag me als, en gedrag me als me ben. Of een zakstap, of een gokstap, of een oezemiets. Of een 
Dango? I know that's hard talk. <laughs> that's gonna hard talk my best, the slow. Oh, the slow. Ja, ik heb een echt goed, uh, goed bezig. Ver weg ben ik eigenlijk, ja. Ver weg. 